So this weekend saw the first live show on The X Factor with two acts getting the boot. Here to give us all the backstage gossip and goings on is the only man to have the ear of Simon Cowell. This is Big Brother Tony. Good morning, Tony. Hi, Claire. How are you? Good. How are you this morning? I'm very good. I'm a little tired, but I'm, you know, I'm here for you. I bet you are. Good morning to you, Tony. What kind of a weekend was it like for you backstage boat nights at the biggest show in town? Uh, well, I mean, it was a great night Saturday, wasn't it? And uh, I thought there's some uh, fantastic uh, standout performances, Aidan Grimshaw in particular, and Mary Byrne. Well, man, yes. she blew us away. She sure did. Everybody loved Mary the other night, and thankfully she stayed in the competition. Straight away, I want to know, in your considered opinion, did the right people go, the first two to go, FYD? and well, um, well yes I, I think Nicolo. they did actually I mean I wasn't a great lover of, of, of the Italian stallion but um, <laughs> you know I know he had a girly following and I get that but mm. um, uh, so I wasn't you know sad or upset that he went uh, and also um, l last night at the studio I think that um, when uh, the girl did her when Katie did her uh, Save Me song it yeah. was fantastic yeah. you know and I think Simon said well you know, where have you been why didn't you sing this before so I think on uh, just on that performance alone she deserves to stay in and hope that she gets better Wait, well where do you stand on Katie because there's a lot of people who hate, I know it's a very strong word, but people texting us this morning, really annoyed she's still in the competition. Yeah, I think it's, um, there is a bit of quite a divide here and the girls don't like her, the girl voters don't like her. I get that. Um, I think that um, she's in this competition, right or wrong reasons. Um, I think she deserves her place. I think she can do better. I'm hoping she can anyway. Now, uh, the judges were very impressed by Cher on Saturday night. Mm. Um, Tony, I didn't get it. OK, yeah, and again, sometimes it's different, you know, in the studio than it is watching it on television. And uh, for me in the studio, it was, um, I thought it was uh, very good. It's, be it's the best thing she's done for me. But um, I don't know, uh, the, you know, the, ju the, the judges are out still on her, aren't they? I mean, yeah. the public as judges. But I, I think that uh, um, I like her and I've spoken to her backstage and she seems, you know, all this stuff about her being like crazy. She's always very calm when I see her. Um, so um, I don't know. I, I know what you mean, though, about that performance. Yeah, because it, it, there's something about her, Tony. That, um, I know she's 17 and she's got great confidence and stuff, but she, her facial expressions and the way, you know... Yeah, sometimes just... it's difficult. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Sometimes it's difficult to, yeah, to look at her. Yes, she does pull faces. Yeah, yeah. I quite agree. And um, there was there was a story in the News of the World yesterday that uh, she was causing trouble backstage before she was due to go on. Um, she threw, threw a bit of a fit. One of the stylists had given her something to wear and she didn't like it. Well, look, yeah, Claire, I mean, first of all, you know, we, we mustn't believe, uh, again, the same for the British papers here this morning. Um, yeah. Just do not believe them all because it's, they're f quite far from the truth, particularly this morning. But look, she's one of those girls. She, she wants to wear her own things. What's wrong with that? She knows how to style herself. I think even for a young girl, she does. So let her wear what she wants to wear so she can focus purely on her performance. Yes. Uh, so who, who was outstanding for you? Uh, Matt, for me, was particularly good. Well, Matt, uh, yeah, I think there was a problem there for me uh, in, in, the, uh, in the song choice. But Matt, we're going to see a lot more of Matt. Um, certainly I hope so because I love him and again I had a little chat with him yesterday um, before uh, before the show uh, before the result show rather and um, you know he, he admitted that uh, that I think the, the song choice was bad so he's going to up his game next week naturally but look let's go back to Mary Byrne because yeah. I did whip back to a Louis dressing room um, the other night which, oh, yeah. is, which is the best place to go the only place to get a glass of fizz I have to tell you <laughs> and I had a chat with Mary because um, I wanted to find out what, what whether she thinks she could win this show right it was a phenomenal night. I, I literally just got up and done the song that I had been rehearsing all week long, but I had a cold, so I couldn't let out. So last night I said, it's now or never. And I don't know where it came from, but I just got the power from somewhere and I felt, I felt like a diva. It was fantastic, and uh, even Simon said that as well. Now, Louis tells me, uh, quite understandably, that he thinks that you could win this show. Louis has a lot of confidence in me. I just hope he's not going to be disappointed. <laughs> um, I'd love to go all the way. Whether winning it or not, I don't think I... I, I don't believe I could win it because I, I believe it's a young person show. But if I got to the finals or, you know, just for Louis himself and for myself, obviously, it would be the biggest dream come true for me. What's yeah. nice to see, and I know it's very early days in the competition, but uh, th there's not an ego there and hopefully that th th that won't change with Mary. What, can she win it, Tony? 
Well, do you know what? A lot of people say she should be on Britain's Got Talent and not the uh, the X Factor. You heard her self-deprecating remarks there about it's a young person's show. Mm. Yeah, traditionally it is. But look, you know, just based on her, per- her first performance uh, and her auditions, but the first performance was just stunning. Uh, and she knows what to do. She commands that stage. So, yeah, my honest belief is, and it's not just about, you know, I want Louis to, to, to win any, over my brother or anything like that. But mm. oh, why would I do that? Um, but, you know, <laughs> you I, I think... I think <laughs> um, I'll be cutting my own throat. No, it, it would be. Um, uh, I just. I think she can be top three if I'm being honest. But uh, you know, if the public get behind her, and I don't just mean Ireland, mm. but she could win this show. Now you mentioned Simon briefly there. How annoyed was he, Tony, when FYD went out? Well, I didn't see him cry, Claire, you mm. know, so yeah. um, I'm thinking that, not that he expected uh, FYD to go, but, you know, he hates, of course, to lose any of his acts. He's very, very competitive, so is Louis. Um, they all are, I guess, as judges. You become that way. But Simon in particular, I know what he's like. I can tell by his facial expressions that, um, you know, he probably wants to cry on mum's shoulder. Ah, oh, bless. I bet he does, because Louis has one of the strongest acts, if not the strongest act in the competition, and also uh, Wagner survived as well, so Simon must be pretty <laughs> peeved about what's going on there. Well, it was a bit of a surprise wasn't it just Definitely. a little bit yeah could, could he go far you know in sometimes in shows like these the public might vote for their it's counterintuitive but they'll vote for the guy that maybe isn't the best can he go far well I, you know personally I hope he can go as far as Brazil <laughs> <laughs> alright um, g- w- will you chat to him first for next week <laughs> ok I and will we just do. see the faux yes. niceness then <laughs> <laughs> ok I'm about T- to change it up yeah. yes carry on um, Tony b- before we finish up today um, we want to just um, indulge ourselves a little bit we're having our own X Factor competition here on 98FM on a show every Sunday called The Sunday Sessions um, and bizarrely enough they chose Claire and I to be first up to sing in the competition how so, odd yeah how <laughs> odd indeed um, so basically last night we went head to head we both sang um, I won't tell you who won I'd like you to be the judge very quickly if you would um, <laughs> and, and give us your considered opinion so I'm going to play um, going to play Claire's singing first okay here's her performance mm-hmm. are we an item girl quit playing we're just friends what are you saying? Said there's another look right in my eyes. Okay, you got that. That, that, that was Claire uh, doing the unmistakable, from it. unmistakable was- version of um, Justin Bieber, Baby. And uh, here's my attempt at Mac the Knife. Fancy gloves, though. Where's old Mac Heat, dear? Shoulders never, ever a trace of red. Now, right, now Tony, who would you oh give the God. money to there? It's the hardest choice ever that I've had to make. But um, <laughs> you know what? I think um, I think Aiden just just oh, just shaves yeah. it. You know. Oh. But Claire, I love you. Oh, good. Thank you, Tony. Smooth man. Thank you, Tony. The public, you are correct. They voted for me, bizarrely enough, so I won. Tony, thanks for being with us this week. It's a pleasure. We will see you again uh, next Monday morning with all the inside gas from the X Factor. Have a great week, Tony. And you guys. Cheers, Tony. Cheers, Tony. Bye-bye.